The insane modder that goes by the name of Sean Clark has just dropped upon us a beauty that is the Radical SR3 for Assetto Corsa. So in this video, we're going to jump into it and give it a first impressions drive. If you like simulated race cars, hit the like button and let's go. Right, first things first, guys. Look at this. Look at this, the Radical SR3. Bloody love this vehicle. I mean, okay, when you look at it from this angle, it, it does look a little bit like some kind of half-melted iron. But look at it from this angle, and it's and it's pure racing perfection. And even better, look at it from behind. Look at those tight edges and how the, uh, the back part of it just flattens off and you've got the giant rear spoiler to keep you to the ground. Unbelievable. Sean Clark's put all the details in here. We've got the exhaust pipes. We've got a, a little uh, tow tow hook that we'll probably be making use of because inevitably we're going to be crashing this. We've got the underbody skirt. We've got everything there. You know, it, 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 it's... I'll admit it. I'll admit it. It's not necessarily the most exciting of vehicles to look at. Not this mod car, the SR3 in reality. But it's, it's pure functional form. And that's why this vehicle just really, really gets me going. Let's admire some of the skins uh, that are included uh, with the download of this mod. Uh, we've got this, this sort of weird block skin. We've got the blue skin here, nice and simple. A lot of these radicals are used for track days in real life, so you, you'll actually see a lot of these on the road in the absolute basic <laughs> the absolute basic uh, skins going on here uh, another fascinating fact about this vehicle is of course that it's uh, if you put a number plate on it i believe it's potentially road legal we've got the uh, rear view mirrors we've got front lights we've got rear lights and yeah you just have to sell a tape a number plate on the side of it so really what i'm saying is this is the perfect absolute perfect all-round car i mean you've even got a nice place to rest your head uh, what more could you could you want uh, in the UK, probably a roof because you're going to get very wet otherwise. But that's enough admiring the model. Uh, I, I think it's an absolutely gorgeous car model here. It's, it's a radical SR3. You can't go wrong. This is the dream car to drive at tracks like Brands Hatch, Snetterton, Oldham Park. Your sort of, your kind of classic British tracks. Uh, Virginia International Raceway. Uh, I let's just be real, any circuit, this car is amazing. So, on the newer circuits, you just have more room for even uh, better side-by-side -side racing, five wides into corners. Um, I'm going to have to admit to you guys that I have tweaked the setup a little bit here because I, I jumped in, I did do a little test, and uh, I realised some things needed a bit of changing to get it to my personal taste. And those things were uh, the, the brake bias I had to move further to the rear because otherwise on the brakes the car was just understeering straight away um and the brake pressure uh, by default is super super sensitive it's on like 100 percent by default and you probably if you're used to a set of corsa cars 95 or 90 is probably what you'll be more in line with and uh brake bias if you're if you're used to other cars um sort of 54 to be honest, actually, 53 to 57 seems to be the brake bias range for my driving style. So I put it on 54 here. Maybe 55 might be better. But yeah, the brake pressure, uh, the brake power thing is probably something that will catch many a set of course players off. Um, there's some other tweaks we'll need to do, but I'll have to get my guys in the Game of Muscle workshop over on Discord to hopefully uh, address some aspects of the car. But we're ready to do a proper drive here. We've got cars on the grid. We're starting at the back. I'm excited, guys. Enough fiddling. Let's rev that engine. Listen to that. Nice and snappy. And... Go! <laughs> Can it steer it off the line? Smoke from the uh, wheels of the cars in front. AI slowing down. Whoa! Let's try and get through there without dying. Oh, man. Nice mixture of car skins included with the default download. So it already feels like a nice mixed grid. It's like with some bizarre Radical SR3 uh, race series here. Look at the flames coming out of his exhaust. Ow. <laughs> Come on, guys. So look at the bag pop out in third gear there through Druids. And the crucial thing, and one of the reasons why I absolutely love this car, is that 
the back comes out, but you can count the steering, you can drive with it. And it seems that uh, Sean Clark has captured that essence. Sean Clark and, of course, the Kunos physics engine. It, this feels like a radical SR3. I mean, we've got this, we've got the uh, S, well, essentially got the SR3 in uh, R Factor 2 and Project Cars 2, and now in Assetto Corsa. Oh, I could do with a little bit more grip there, the car. A little bit reluctant to bite. We've got, we've got another Radical on our inside. Turn it in a bit. Don't want to run too wide. But look at this. You can easily fit maybe three of these side by side through Brands Hatch. So you get fantastic racing with this car. Absolutely. Come on, guys. I'm, I'm going to have to crack out the old VR headset and jump into this. I probably won't film that. <laughs> VR is like my little private, private VR sessions I have. Whoa. Come on, got to be more confident here. Absolutely great force feedback. Feel the, the tyres loading up. Get a nice little bit of draft. That's another aspect of this vehicle. You, it has quite a bit of draft behind it, giving opponents that are behind you on circuits like Brands Hatch more of a chance to actually catch up and get an overtake in. Oh, the AI is going for a bit of a dive bomb up the inside there, but no. Oh my god, it's <laughs> such a good car. It's so nice and stable when you're just driving, when you're not overdriving it, it's, it's just really nice and stable. But it kind of lures you into a sense of, let's hammer it. Look at the reflections off that car, come on. We're getting the pass in there, goodbye. Off we go, up through the gears. Oh, no, 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 too much speed through there. Oh, no. I, I see the tweak with the setup that I need now is I just, whoa, I need a bit more, um, bit more lift off oversteer. I need to make the back a little bit more loose through those corners. And then, and then it'll be pretty damn perfect. Oh, that's, that's me locking up the brake there. Got to be very careful on the brakes. I might even reduce the brake pressure a bit more, to be honest. Oh, this is going to be so good to race with subscribers. I mean, guys, hit that subscribe button, click the bell on it, because next time we live stream, we're going to be racing this. We're going to be racing this all around the world. Oh, virtually, of course, not for real. You, I've seen these go on Auto Trader. I think the cheapest I've ever seen one was £18,000. But I believe they do four different versions in real life for the Radical SR3. Um, the top end one, I think, can go for like £40,000. Um, I think you can buy like the near top end one second hand for like £23,000. But then if you're buying these second hands, you know, it's sort of... I don't know how often they rebuild the engines, but I can't imagine they last too long <laughs> before they do an engine rebuild so you buy buy second hand one of these for cheap <laughs> and find out you have to replace half the components uh, that's kind of race cars whoa <laughs> but guys come on how good is this we're not even we're not even close to the limit you can throw it in and do that counter steer and hold it a bit so well, so far most of that steer is just like hold on for dear life recovery but whoa <laughs> AI tries to kill us doesn't get away with it because you can't kill me in a Radical SR3. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. I, I, I can't wait to race this with subs. We've got, we've got some uh, subscribers that we've done a lot of SR3 racing in Project Cars 2. And we've got a bit of a reputation in Project Cars 2 for only racing the Radical SR3 and that. But this, this is like someone's took the SR3 from Project Cars 2 and fixed the issues with it, i.e. The, the rear is really weirdly loose in the uh, Project Cars 2 version, and the car rotates, it's really overactively rotating in Project Cars 2, which is kind of Project Cars 2 handling in general. This has got the, that nimble character, but it also feels super planted. It's, it's so good. By the way, if you don't like radicals, <laughs> you probably won't like this, but this... Ah, oh dear. Perfect vehicle, guys. The perfect car. I need one of these parked outside my house. 
totally impractical. I mean, you get to a speed bump and you've ripped the front of the car off, but, you know. I, I, TPC Sim Racing. Oh, around the outside through uh, Sheen Curve or Dingle Dell is, is the original, well, it's old name. I prefer the old name. Nip that, nip that curb in, power on through. That's lap four or five. The, uh, the AI also seems to actually drive this quite well. We, we, you know, they, I think it's because it's not too wide of a car. It's not too fast of a car. The brakes are responsive. What I'm saying is, if Jesus came out down from heaven as a vehicle, uh, it would be a Radical SR3, and everyone would have to convert to Christianity by sitting in a Radical SR3. Because, let's face it, it's going to be a religious experience. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So if anyone says anything critical about this car in the comments, you're you're banned <laughs> from the from the cult of muscle. Oh, I, I just want to no, I just want to just chuck this into corners. I can't wait to drive this at Alton Park. There's some corners on there, the low speed corners where you really have to balance the throttle and really turn the car in. With Brands Hatch, it's mostly uh, high speed, so. It's not really, though Brands Hatch has the best grass and as a result it's one of my favourite racetracks, it's not really the best circuit for actually testing a vehicle out because it does lack certain types of corner. I, I would say if you wanted to do the ultimate vehicle test to, act, to, you know, to fully find out if a car's good or not, if it's working fully. What? Okay, I think my brake bias was too far on the rear. There was no catching that. Um... The ultimate vehicle test, you probably want to do something like Alton Park and Mugello. Mugello is fantastic. It, it, it lacks, it does lack slow corners again, but just a, a good track for testing things. Mugello, Alton Park, maybe Silverstone as well, because Silverstone is totally, pretty much flat. So uh, when you've got a really flat circuit, you get a, a good idea of the innate handling of a vehicle outside of hills and cambers and things and corners. But, oh, guys, what, race over? We're having, look, the, <laughs> we're having multiple seizures because our in-game character enjoyed it too much. Oh, man. Do you know what? I'm just going to go straight to Alton Park now. <laughs> for, forget waiting for VR. We do, we are using a th an awesome 35-inch uh, monitor here. So uh, we'll change the car skin. Let's go for the, uh, let's go for the green one. Oh, no, no, let's go for, like, the blocks one. Really nice. And let's go Let's go for Alton Park. We've got a mod version of Alton Park for AC. A really nice version. I'm not sure which... Oh, Donington as well with this car. It's going to be so good, guys. I feel like a child at Christmas. Um, I really need to get like a model of a Radical SR3. It's, uh, just just a perfect... Just perfect. Let's just do four laps. Don't want you to all die of old age. Let's put the grid up to even more cars. Why not? Let's see if the game crashes. We've got, a, we've got a good processor. Let's try and use it. Right. Here we go. Four laps, Radical SR3. So Sean Clark's also released a Radical SR8. And in my opinion, the SR8 is a pointless car. <laughs> but I will try it out. We'll try it in a separate video. But the Radical SR8 is basically just like a bad prototype. It, oh, we've got like a pearlescent paint job here. Or oh, there's another car inside of us. I think that I think we might have trouble here. I think, we've got two, I think we're inside of another car. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> I think we might have broken this. Yeah. Yep, there it is. There it is. Okay, okay. We've just discovered what happens if you put too many cars on Alton Park. I think Alton Park's limited to like 14 or something. So let's try that again. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Imagine that happening in real life. That would be on the news. Uh, second time lucky. But yeah, the, the SR8 is kind of like a, a, a bad prototype. It, it doesn't have that nimble handling that the SR3 has. So it's kind of like, well, you might as well just dive a decent prototype. But I've not tried Sean Clark's in this, so maybe it's actually really fun to drive. So I'm, I'm just basing it off my experience of, of the SR8 in other simulators, like iRacing, and uh, they've also got that in Project Cars too. Uh, and in both cases, it's just a bit... It's a bit of a dull car, like you can't really chuck it in. You've just got to be very careful with it because because of the nature of the power of it and the sort of size of it, and the profile. Uh, brake, our brake pressure is fine here. That's all good. Uh, that's all good. That's all good. I think I think we're all set up here. What's it? The brake bias set to? Why don't we just do that in the car? 
Yeah, let's turn that down. So here we go, guys. Alton Park. See, by default, the brake bias is really high. Off we go. I tell you what, I'm going to put it on 55 brake bias and see if we uh, end up losing it like we did at Brands Hatch. I tell you what, I really like as well with the dash here. The uh, little LED, the little shift light, <laughs> and the little LED under it. And then we've got the actual RPM gauge in the middle. That's all you need. Well, a little bit of understeer. Definitely need to tweak the setup a touch, I think. But I don't mind. I don't mind setups when it comes to radicals. I do anything for a radical. Oh! <laughs> See the Alton Park test. We'll go for a bit, send it up the inside, not quite. Man, AC's force feedback. I'm using a uh, Fanatec, uh, the Fanatec DD, the PS4 compatible DD, Fanatec Podium uh, DD. Whoa, 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 come on. And it gives absolutely awesome force feedback from the uh, from the simulator. Same, you know, for using a small mage. AC just seems to work really nicely with DD wheels. You get absolutely fantastic feel for what the tyres are doing. And in a way that I find very analogous to the sort of g-forces that you'd experience on your body in real life right <laughs> i've been outpaced by the ai there we go look at the draft off that not a good line into that these two corners you want to kind of line up and imagine them as a single as one corner and uh, drive through them smoothly oh, oh no <laughs> illegal overtake there sorry yeah, so with the brake bias set as far back as I do there, what's happening is when I've got the steering angle on uh, quite a lot and I brake heavily, the back's breaking loose. So I definitely need to get the rear looser through other setup means rather than brake bias. So we need that stability for, for trail braking. Although I, I tend to trail brake far too much. It's a sort of bad habit of mine. You, you get most of the speed off in a straight line as opposed to with the car turned. But... Uh, I think I developed that ha uh, habit from using force feedback wheels with driving sims is that if you turn, you get more force feedback information with wheels like the G25. So trail braking and turning helps you feel what the tyres are doing more, but it does stop you from being able to get the speed off whilst braking. Whoops, broke too much there. Again, I might, I might need to reduce the brake pressure as well. I get the impression and this is what I found with some of the other, some of the other cars that Sean Clark's done, is that he might be a fan of iRacing and the sort of sensitivity of input that you get with iRacing, and so maybe that's why the, the, the Sean Clark's mod cars tend to have particularly sensitive brakes, uh, which is fine, because you can just turn down the sensitivity. You're just gonna have to bear that in mind when you go from one AC car to, to one of these cars. And uh, personally, I quite like the sensitive brakes. I, I like, if the car, I want all aspects of the car to be as sensitive as possible, so long as it's not just chewing you out in a ridiculous way. And look at that. Just uh, riding over the bumps. Bloody fantastic. To try and, it'd be interesting to see how this goes over the curb it's, it seems pretty happy with it to be honest I've not done any uh, spa is a good test to see if cars in AC are happy with the curbs let's try and close the gap on this car oh. the margin between getting maximum brake pressure and locking up is very tight Try and chuck it in there a bit more. Come on. <laughs> oh, man, guys. This is going to be so good to race with subs. Or I'll probably crash into people, but, you know. Oh, oh I locked up. Oh. Fortunately, the car in front accelerated the touch there before we hit him. Oh, come on. That's more of a follow-through corner there. Man, because this is open cockpit as well, and you're quite close to the ground... 
You get a fantastic uh, sense of speed with this car that's often lacking from vehicles of the same speed as this, like a full-size body car that's with a roof over the top that's travelling at these speeds. It, it's not going to feel as fast. Again, from, from Project Cars 2, driving the SR3 in VR with that, it's, it's just a really fun car in VR, like any Formula car, but it's, you know... It, it's not as planted as a Formula car. That's, as I said, that's why I love this so much. You get some of the benefits of a Formula car for the high-speed corners, but you then get the characteristics of a road car for the low-speed corners. It's the perfect vehicle. <laughs> Come on. Yellow flags flashing, I think. That's fine. We just ignore them. Safety last. Quite a nice little uh, downshift crackle and uh, RPM boost there as you go through the gears. A little bit of wobble as you shift up through the gears as well, which is a nice little touch with the sound files. Ah, oh, a little bit better there. As you start pushing it through those, you start getting a bit looser, and then you really feel it with this vehicle. And it's when you're in a when you're in a battle side by side with someone, and you're both pushing the car on the limit in that situation. That's that's when it's. Uh, that's when this car's at its best. To be honest, though, we did pick a car skin with racing stripes on it, and I don't know if there is one, but that's obviously the one to go for because racing stripes always give you that extra 5 or 10 horsepower. So I, I, I need to make sure we do that when we race this with subs. Final corner here. Yeah, we tweak the setup, a little bit more aggressive driving. This is going to be an absolute dream for racing with subs. But uh, what can I say, guys? What can I say as we black out in game again? Uh, fantastic job by Sean Clark. Bow down or bow down and praise the Clark. Praise the Clark for producing uh, a car, another car. He's, he's Janetta. I think he did a Janetta mod as well, which is awesome. But... He's, he's gone and done a Radical SR3. Yes. Um, nothing more to say. Go Just download it off his website. Link in the description. If you haven't got it, you're an idiot. If you have got it, you're happy. And in my case, a happy idiot. But sometimes that's 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 good enough. Um, click the like button. Subscribe and click the bell because YouTube otherwise doesn't send you a notification. I mean, well, don't subscribe if you don't want any more of this bold git driving simulators and stuff. But if you do want more bold git driving simulators, subscribe and hit the bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't notify you. But uh, that's it. That's it, guys. We'll be live streaming and we'll be live streaming driving this vehicle because uh, it's spot on. But uh, until the next video, guys, happy tea drinking and goodbye.